Amongst the many players that Mexico have produced, none of them even come close to Hugo Sanchez. The Mexican forward is one of the greatest strikers the game has ever seen, renowned for his explosive strikes and volleys. With a total of 562 senior goals, he is one of the most prominent forwards of all time. This is a story of Hugo Sanchez, Mexico's greatest ever player. Hugo Sanchez was born in Mexico City on the 7th of November 1958, the son of former footballer Hector Sanchez. He excelled in both football and gymnastics as a child, but it was football where he would get his lucky break. Hugo often watched his elder brother, a goalkeeper, train with Mexico's amateur side, and often pleaded with coaches to let him join in, but they refused due to his age. Eventually, they gave in, and would regret not doing so sooner. Hugo Sanchez showed the coaches what he was capable of, and was soon recruited to join the side. Sanchez performed well at the Toulon tournament in 1975, winning the Golden Boy Award. He would go on to join Club Universidad Nacional, the team representing Mexico's national university, commonly known as the Pumas. Whilst at the team, he graduated with a degree in dentistry. He signed his first professional deal with the team in 1976, as an 18-year-old, and quickly burst onto the scene. In his debut season, they won the Mexican League for the first ever time, and two years later, he was the league's top scorer with 26 goals. He took the club to another Mexican title in 1981, along with a CONCACAF Champions League in 1980. He made his Mexico debut in 1977, winning the CONCACAF Championships that same year. During the Mexican off-season, he had a loan spell with American side San Diego Soccers, and his goal-scoring exploits showed no signs of slowing down, as he netted 26 goals in 32 games. His goals were not going unnoticed, and in 1981, he made the big move to Europe. Atletico Madrid signed Sanchez in the summer of 81, after the forward rejected a move to Arsenal. Sanchez would struggle in his first season at Atleti, only scoring eight times in the league. Many wondered whether he would return to Mexico, but soon he found his feet in Spain. Following Mexico's failure to qualify for the 1982 World Cup, and thanks to the support of Atleti president Vincente Calderon, he would net 22 goals in all competitions the next campaign. Unfortunately, Atleti finished 8th, but they would not finish outside the top 4 afterwards during Sanchez's time there. In the 84-85 season, he won his first honour in Europe, as Atletico Madrid won the Copa del Rey, with Sanchez netting twice in the final as they defeated Athletic Bilbao 2-1. In the 84-85 season, he won his first honour in Europe, as Atletico Madrid won the Copa del Rey, with Sanchez netting twice in the final as they defeated Athletic Bilbao 2-1. It would be one of his last actions for the club though, as he soon broke Atleti hearts. In the summer of 1985, Hugo Sanchez was signed by Real Madrid. He was presented to 50,000 ecstatic fans at the Bernabeu on the 19th of July. He also played at the World Cup that summer as Mexico hosted, and Sanchez netted his only World Cup goal in a 2-1 win over Belgium. Mexico would reach the quarter-finals, where they were defeated by eventual winners, Argentina. In 1986, Real Madrid won the league and made it a double when they beat Cologne 5-3 on aggregate in the UEFA Cup final, with Sanchez netting to get in on the act. His first season for Los Blancos saw him that 29 times in 49 games. His fine form continued, with Sanchez dazzling spectators. His gymnastics career as a child would go on to help him, as he often scored overhead kicks, as well as a legendary somersault celebration. He scored many goals from outside the box, with his sheer power too much for the opposition to handle. He kept sweeping up honours, as Real Madrid won five consecutive league titles from 1985 to 1990, as well as the Copa del Rey in 1989. Sanchez's goals saw him sweep up many personal accolades too. He won four consecutive Pachichi trophies, the award given to the La Liga top scorer. His lowest goal tally in his first five seasons at Real was 29 with his 38 goals in the league in 1989, winning him the Golden Boot as Europe's top scorer. Amazingly, all 38 of these goals were netted with a single touch. In 1992, Sanchez began to wind down his career, signing for Club America in Mexico. 
He left Real Madrid with a stunning 208 goals in 283 appearances. After winning the CONCACAF Champions League with Club America in 1992, he returned to Spain for a season with Rayo Vallecano. He played for a number of other clubs, venturing to Mexico, Austria, America, before he finished his career at home with Atletico Celaya. He retired at the age of 39, with a total of 562 goals for club and country in 956 matches, a tally that remains the envy of many. He started his coaching career in Mexico, beginning this with the Pumas, just as he did with his playing career. He turned the club's fortunes around, but was sacked after disagreements with the club's president. He was reinstated following a change upstairs, and made the Pumas champions of Mexico in 2004. Unfortunately, the team did a 180 afterwards, suffering terrible form, and Sanchez would resign in late 2005. He would become coach of the Mexican national team in 2006, and he took them to the final of the 2007 Gold Cup, and the semi-finals of that year's Copa America. Sanchez would not last much longer in the role though, and he controversially changed the nation's iconic green kit to white, and ended up being sacked in 2008 after a poor spell of form. He has not managed since a spell with Pachucha in 2012. Hugo Sanchez is without doubt one of the greatest forwards to ever play the game. His majestic and explosive style of play drew him sheer adoration, and he remains remembered as one of Real Madrid's greats. However, he does not often come up in current discussions about great forwards, which is a huge disservice to his career. His goals took Real Madrid to an astonishing five league titles in a row, and few forwards since have reached similar goal-scoring levels in Europe. He played the game beautifully, always willing to entertain, and his ability is summed up by what Real Madrid manager Leo Beenhacker said about Juan Sanchez's iconic overhead kicks. When a player scores a goal like that, play should be suspended, and a glass of champagne offered to the 80,000 fans that witnessed it. <laughs>